A few people have asked about how to do a transition from a regular screen to a screen that has some alert or overlaid content on top of it. The stumbling point for a lot of people is thinking that this type of transition is going to happen within one screen or that you're going to transition to a screen with a transparent area that's going to show through what's behind it. And we've intentionally avoided that kind of thing in Flinto because we believe that representing each state of your app through an individual screen simplifies a lot of things and prevents any kind of programming logic or bugs from entering into your prototypes. It's what helps keep things really simple. So remember that in Flinto, you can never reach a state that you didn't explicitly design. So you won't ever end up at a screen that looks wrong or weird or is kind of a bug in your prototype. In this example, I have a screen with some sort of an article and then a screen with uh, sharing options that pop up over the article. And all I did was create each of those states individually. And you don't have to worry anything about including this panel with the sharing options inside of the normal screen. That's one of the nice things about Flinto is you don't need a lot of extra elements inside of each screen. You basically just design each screen as it needs to be on its own. And I've got a share button down here. And let's make a link from there to the overlay screen with a new transition. And as with most transitions that seem to occur within a screen, I'm going to drag all this content right on top. Then I'm going to hide the shade layer, turn the opacity down. And then this overlay, I'm going to slide it out to the right. Now we're back to looking at something that looks like the starting state of the transition, but we're actually looking at the end screen. And when I toggle the transition, you see the shade fades back in and the um, panel slides back into the middle. So let's do something a little bit more fun. Let's put this in the middle, scale it down and have it fade in and maybe rotate a little bit. So it pops up like that. Give it a little bit of a spring bounce. Cool, so that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm gonna come over here and just put a backlink by pressing B and let's check out the preview. Cool, that, look, that works really nicely, really smooth. That's how you can do overlay content. And this works great for an alert like this or some kind of a menu that pops up over the existing content anything where you need to show other content in the background.